Good evening. Today we celebrate the sixth Sunday of Easter, and as we know, after Jesus' resurrection, Jesus comes to his disciples to give them his encouragement, hope, peace, and joy. And anytime Jesus comes to his disciples, he invites them to make an encounter with him, to be with him, and to remain in him, as he says, remain in me as I remain in you. And we learn that we remain in Jesus by many ways. We remain in Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. We remain in Jesus any time we come here. We remain in Jesus in a life of prayer. We remain in Jesus when we allow Jesus to be present among our life, when we allow God to enter into our circumstances and situations. And we, re we remain in Jesus when we remain in the church where you share the same faith, the same spirit, the same baptism, and the one God to one another. And today, Jesus invites one of us to remain in him through love. I remember in 2016, there was a boy asking Pope Francis this question, what did God do before the world was made? This question, and the Pope answered, before God made the world, he loved. Actually, we believe that God loves us always and forever. And when Jesus came, he revealed God's love and mercy among people and among each one of us in his love, in his ministry, and in his life. And when Jesus came, he established this one school, that is the school of love. And in this school, Jesus did teach us this one subject, that is the subject of love. And when Jesus finished his ministry on earth, he gave his disciples and each one of us the commandment of love, that is, love one another as I have loved you. My dear friends, what is the love of Jesus Christ? So during the Easter season, we hear the gospel according to St. John, and as we know, St. John is known as the apostle of love, and we call the gospel of St. John the gospel of love. And in his gospel, St. John mentions love many, many times, and St. John is the one who says, God is love, as we heard in second reading today. And St. John is the one who emphasizes the greatest commandment of Jesus Christ, that is, love one another as I have loved you. So what is the love of Jesus Christ? Actually, the love of Jesus is not an option. The love of Jesus is not a feeling. The love of Jesus is not an emotion. Instead, the love of Jesus Christ is a commandment. The love of Jesus Christ is a commitment. The love of Jesus Christ is a decision of life. And St. Teresa of the child Jesus says, my vocation is love. And love embraces every place every time, and in the heart of the church, I will be loved. And likewise, we believe that our vocation is love, and in the heart of the church, we, we will be loved. In the heart of our family, we will be loved. In the heart of our life, we will be loved. This is the kind of love that St. Paul mentions. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love doesn't envy. Love doesn't boast. Love always trusts. Love always hopes. Love always perseveres. Love always forgives. My dear friends, St. Augustine says, Love God and do what you want. Love God and do what you want. Actually, if we truly love God, we always do good. 
if we truly love God, we always forgive those who wrong us. If we truly love God, we always love those who offend us. If we truly love God, we are always so generous to everybody. That's why the love of Jesus gives us to peace, to happiness, and to joy. And in the gospel, since Jesus said to his disciples, I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy might be complete. So what is the joy of Jesus Christ for us? St. Paul says, God fills us with joy and joy is the fruit and the gift of the Holy Spirit. That's why we cannot experience this joy by ourselves because the true joy comes from God. And this is a kind of spiritual joy. St. Teresa of Kakuda said to each one of us, joy is prayer, joy is strength, joy is love, joy is a net of love. And for each one of us, the joy of Jesus is the joy of his resurrection. And St. Augustine says, we are Easter people, and Alleluia is our song. We are Easter people, and Alleluia is our song. We rejoice always in our circumstances, in our situations. We rejoice because we are people of good news. We rejoice always because we are Easter people, and Alleluia is our song. We sing Alleluia in all circumstances of our life. We are in a time of sickness or illness, singing Alleluia. We are in a time of isolation or fear or disappointment, singing Alleluia. We are in a time of any troubles of life, singing Alleluia. We are in a time of even death, singing Alleluia, because we are people of good news, and we are Easter people, and Alleluia is our song. We rejoice because God is the joy of our heart. We rejoice because God is the joy of our soul. We rejoice because God is the fulfillment of all the anxieties and fears of our life. That's why we rejoice because we are Easter people and Alleluia is our song. My dear friends, today we hear about the joy and the love of Jesus Christ. And today, Jesus also commands his disciples and is one of us to become witnesses of love, witnesses of joy to one another. And Jesus commands his disciples and is one of us to go out to reach out to everybody. Pope Francis says, the gospel is always proclaimed on the road, on the way, never sitting down. And the Pope also says, there are no life insurance policies for the disciples of Christ. And if anybody looks for a life insurance policy, he is not a disciple of Jesus. And a disciple doesn't stay in a safe place. Instead, he must go out. Likewise, if we are disciples of Jesus Christ, we do not look for a life insurance policy. And if we are disciples of Christ, we do not stay in a safe place of our life. Rather, we must go out. We must go out to bring the good news to bring the good news of love, the good news of peace, the good news of Jesus Christ to one another. And we are called and we are invited to go out of our circle, to go out of our family, to go out of our community, to go out of ourselves, to reach out to everybody. This is the life of Jesus Christ. This is the way of Jesus. This is the way of discipleship. 
and this is the way of is one of us who follows Jesus Christ. Amen.